There are many characters throughout comics who have had the power of probability manipulation. Notable examples include Black Cat, Domino, and of course, Scarlet Witch, whose vast powers have been shown to be able to alter the universe on a massive scale. But how exactly does this work? Welcome to Comic Misconceptions, I'm Scott, and in West Coast Avengers number 61, the villain Immortus revealed that Scarlet Witch is a Nexus being, someone who belongs equally to all possible timelines and all potential realities. But what does this mean, potential realities? Well, I'm sure we're all aware that Marvel has a multiverse. There are alternate realities that exist outside of the main continuity, and thankfully Marvel has numbered them for us so that we can get a handle on exactly how many universes there are. Marvel's main universe is Earth-616, or 616, that lets us know that there are at least 615 other realities out there besides the one that we're most familiar with. But it goes beyond that, way beyond that. Marvel's Ultimate Universe is Earth 1610, Marvel Zombies is Earth 2149, the X-Men The Animated Series takes place on Earth 92131, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe takes place on Earth 199999. There are so many other ones out there, but Marvel hasn't even listed all of them yet. As far as I can tell, there are close to one million alternate realities, and likely many more. Heck, possibly infinitely more. A good portion of the ones we know of are used in What If stories, comics that are specifically created to show other timelines and realities. Like, what if Kraven killed Spider-Man? What if Kingpin owned Daredevil? Or what if Hulk's pants didn't stretch? You know, the important questions. But how is an alternate reality made in the first place? And how does this relate to Scarlet Witch? Well, first, we need to talk about cats. Schrodinger's cat is a famous thought experiment by an Austrian physicist named Erwin Schrodinger, who used the idea to explain a little bit about quantum mechanics. But hang in there, I promise we're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna relate it back to comics. Imagine you put a cat in a box with a device that has a 50% chance of killing it within the next hour. Without opening the box, we will have no way of knowing whether or not the device killed the cat. When that hour is over, what is the state of the cat? Well, you might instinctively think that the cat is either alive or dead. And with a 50-50 chance, you won't get much more accurate than simply guessing what the outcome is. But according to quantum mechanics, as Schrodinger points out, the moment before the box is opened, the cat is in a superposition state, meaning our feline friend is equal parts alive and dead simultaneously. But a superposition cannot be observed, so when we open the box to check on the cat, reality collapses and the state of the cat is decided as one option or the other. The problem is that we currently can't explain how the cat went from two states to just one or the other, nor do we know how the decision was made for the outcome we observed. This is where the many worlds interpretation comes in. Many worlds of quantum mechanics proposes that the system doesn't actually decide one outcome over the other. It doesn't choose whether the cat is alive or dead. Instead, the timeline is split, and both realities exist. One where the cat is alive, and one where you're gonna have to be doing some serious explaining to your parents about what happened to your pet. According to the Many Worlds interpretation, the timeline of history would branch out into these alternate realities, basically all the time, nonstop, forever. In fact, the hypothesis states that there might even be an infinite number of universes where everything that could possibly have happened in our universe but didn't, did happen. Like a universe where Doctor Doom became a hero, or one where Gwen Stacy lived, or one where Wolverine is a wimp with a styrofoam skeleton who can't even stand up to a mean little girl named Maggie Nito. Comics are weird. Now that's just a super brief look at these ideas. I'll put some sources in the description if you want to dive a little bit deeper. I encourage you to do so, it's super fascinating stuff. But let's get back to Scarlet Witch. Now remember that she is tied to all possible realities, so we can start to understand how her powers could possibly work. Let's say someone is about to punch Scarlet Witch. We now have a branching point. One, uh, there's one reality where the punch connects and another possible reality where it doesn't. Remember, no matter how improbable an event is, if it's at least 
least possible, then not only can it happen, but Many World says that it must happen. Just not necessarily in the reality where this particular version of you exists. Ideally, Scarlet Witch would use her powers to see which outcome is more beneficial for her. She sees the universe like a big choose her own adventure novel and consciously picks her path where the rest of us don't get the luxury of an option. She thinks, hmm, well, I'd like not to get punched, so let's choose the reality wherein my attacker misses me. And that's what happens. She makes sure that the reality where the punch misses is Earth-616. This also means that there's at least one reality out there where she actually does get punched. Again, that's all in an ideal situation. Obviously, Earth-616 is definitely not the perfect world where nothing bad ever happens to Scarlet Witch. She suffered through a ton of horrible tragedies, even though she has this incredible power we've seen before in stories like Avengers Disassembled and House of M that she's not always in full control of her abilities. But we can take this a step further. In House of M, for example, Scarlet Witch creates a world where just about everyone is living a happy, perfect life. Spider-Man is married to Gwen, and Uncle Ben never died, Captain America was never frozen, etc. This reality is not Earth-616, but rather Earth-58163. This showcases a pretty fascinating concept, I think. The main Marvel Universe isn't a place where a particular series of events happens. The main Marvel Universe is that particular series of events. It's essentially a formula made up of very specific outcomes, of very specific branching points, and if at any point one of the outcomes changes, you have yourself a whole new universe. And Scarlet Witch is connected to all of them, able to influence the outcomes of branching points and influencing the very equation that makes the Marvel Universe what it is. So cool. What do you guys think? Do Scarlet Witch's powers of probability manipulation work through the idea of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics? What would you do if you had some extra luck on your side? Let's talk about it all in the comments below. And this video just tackled the Marvel side of the multiverse, but if you're interested in the DC side, go check out the video on my buddy Owen's channel where he's discussing some fascinating concepts regarding the Crisis on Two Earths animated movie and a little bit more quantum mechanics as well. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description below or just click somewhere on the screen where I have a thing for you to do. So check it out. And if this is your first time hanging out with us here at NerdSync, we make new videos every week that ask questions and examine comics beyond the surface because we believe that doing so can actually enhance your comic book reading experience and make comics just a little bit more awesome. So make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, I'm Scott. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys right here on Friday for another video. See ya.